Hello, my name is Otto Blumen. Uh, I'm together with my brother Willem Blumen. We run a dairy farm here in North from Lucan. Uh, we milk about 480 cows in our newly built four weeks old rotary parlor 60 stall. We had a really good relationship with Dairy Lane. Back in the day we bought a GA parlor from Dairy Lane. Had good components, Dairy Lane always had good surface. We had good luck with this parlor, so we had faith in the equipment and uh, in their service. So that's why we chose for another Dairy Lane parlor. The most unique feature from this rotary platform is that Everything is 100% stainless steel from bottom up, so rails, deck, guarding around it, bales, everything is made out of stainless steel and it should last a long time. The other thing we always kept in our mind, we want to build a simple rotary system. So our uh, takeoff is vacuum, our drive is hydraulic. The last unique thing on it is that it has an extra milk line and this is for our waste milk because we want to milk all our cows, including sick cows and fresh cows on our uh, rotary deck. The milk from the sick cows goes in a waste line and no buckets. It's one streamlined process. Because of our uh, manufacturing, capabilities here. Here we have a few cranes in the shop and they uh, have proven to be very handy. Uh, because we built the milk parlor uh, ourselves from base up, we use the crane a lot for the construction process on it, lift heavy things on it. Now when we're milking we use uh, the crane to service the inside, so if the milk test comes we lift all our equipment in on the inside. If you have to service a motor or a swivel we can lift things with the crane, they tend to be very helpful. Uh, we also chose not to put a tunnel underneath the parlor, so the only entrance on the parlor is a ladder that hangs off the deck, so anything heavy the crane is getting used for to lift it in. One day you decide to milk your 500 cows in your new milk parlor. First day is uh, it's a sweaty day because your cows really don't want to go onto that new cement and onto that new parlor. At our first day we started in the afternoon with a bunch of extra people and you have to push on every cow one by one on the deck. Our second day went a lot better. Yet 70% of the cows would walk on the deck by themselves without that you push them. Then it gets only better every milking after milking. Five days in, pretty well all the cows walked on it and we were milking 250 cows an hour. We are pretty happy with that. At this time we used the parlor for about four weeks. Cow traffic is like a breeze, it's uh, amazing, like you open the gate at the back and the cows actually will run on the back, so they will fight to get on. So this is relaxed for the milkers, they don't have to fight the cows or they don't have to go and get them. That's one thing that's really amazing and an eye opener for this parlor. The management of the parlor is a lot easier too. At this time we need three guys in the parlor, one is prepping, one is hanging and one guy at the end who does the dipping. You can really easy time between prepping and the hanging because you place your milk at a certain distance apart from each other. So like there's always an optimum prep time. It's a thing that's really beneficial to the rotary parlor. And then the overall capacity is huge. We are milking now in the morning about 270, 280 cows an hour. In the afternoon milking we do about 300 to 320 cows an hour. We are twice a day milking, so the herd is 476 cows at this time and we are averaging 37 liters.